Hey, what's up, guys? Double here again. I am joined by Pixelated Apollo. Hello, hello. So happy to be here. Yeah, I'm super excited. I haven't played a Total War game in ages, but uh, recently I've been looking over at Pixelated Apollo's YouTube channel, and he's really kind of brought back the interest to me. And recently I got my hands on this super cool medieval mod for Attila through him, so why not do a one versus one War of the Roses style sort of internal fight, England v. England? Yeah, right. yeah, War of Roses, I'm pumped. You know, I'm, ex I'm happy that, you know, I brought you back and now I must destroy you. All right, yeah, that's how it's going to be. Okay, well, I'm going to be representing the Yorkists or the House of York uh, with uh, one of my earls, Earl of Pembroke. Uh, we did some research because it's very, I mean, it, it's hard to find like exactly all the earls who, you know, stood on what side. Right, yeah. But I came to a conclusion that Earl of Pembroke was, was present a lot and so was the Earl of Salisbury. Uh, and they fought for the, the House of York and you've just gone with the, the king straight off. Yeah, this, King I mean, Henry the Sixth. Yeah, he was mentally ill, I guess, but he, he had, was still yeah. the one who represented the House of Lancaster, so... Yeah. Um, he had a lot of, like, episodes, like, mm -hmm. mental episodes. Yeah. Once uh, the French were starting to win the Hundred Years' War. Mm hmm So, this is some late, late war, late medieval kind yeah. of battle that we got going here, and it's going to be very gritty. Once again, this is uh, work in progress, or it's, like, a closed... You can't, everyone can't download this mod yet for Attila. Um... I think it's available to Rome 2 users at the moment, though. Uh, yeah, there is a version for Rome 2. It's kind of like a... You could kind of look at it as a beta, in a way. Yeah. But yeah, it's still closed alpha, but I think a lot of YouTubers have it, so there's still going to be a lot of content of it coming out. Mm -hmm. I'm super excited. If you guys want to see more of this, there's probably going to be lots of it coming up on Apollo's channel, and if you guys want to see more on my channel, then then be, be sure to stay tuned for more, because uh, I, I really like the look of this mod. It's so cool looking. It's and this so is a, cinematic. A, yeah, it's a period that I'm also so much more interested in rather than the uh, the sort of Attila time period. So uh, this is something I could really get into. Oh, yeah. And th there's going to be a campaign for it. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. well, I got the map, so. Yeah. Just change a few ma uh, names around and then they, they're Boom, good to there go. Boom, there you go. So this is, uh, I guess, a good day to fight. Shed some loyalist blood. <laughs> oh, man. You rebel yes. scum. Yeah, literally. Uh, but the House of York did come out victorious, though, at the end. So Yes, that is true. Uh, we'll see if I can represent that kind of outcome here with my <laughs> my soldiers today. I've oh, raised man. some. Oh, go ahead. Lo I've raised some some good some good warriors here, but I have I brought I brought in a very fun unit that you'll see later. They look like a bunch of robbers from Robin Hood or something. I mean, You're like Sherwood. Not, yeah, they're they're the cheapest men I could find. Robbers and scumbags, but they'll come and fight the king. <laughs> All right. Let's deploy. Yeah, and I brought the the king's army, well trained. Mm -hmm. Well equipped. Ooh, scary stuff, man. It's like it's like a what's that that battle from um, Braveheart when the king was there and his heavy infantry. Oh yeah, yeah. Some Scotsmen and kills. That was kind of scary. But uh, the good old Braveheart. Mm -hmm. Not historically accurate whatsoever, but still a great film. Well, Mel Gibson isn't really. I mean, the, <laughs> that's like <laughs> he was part of. Uh, I mean, he played in Patriot too. Not overly historically accurate, too, with this. With some of the... Yeah, acts, yeah. But again, still, another pretty good, good film. Good movie. Yeah. Very romantic, like, you know, like a sort of a... What, what, when, you, when you romanticize the, the the war and greatness and stuff like that, glorify it. Yeah, yeah. But um, I think I've brought some men today that can really bring a fire to your uh, Lancastrian boys. I don't know. This is Remember, this is the king's army. Yeah. We're not you have messing like, around. You have infantry that's very different from mine because there's a lot of Earl's own kind of infantry. But you got a lot of, like, King's infantry here that's a lot more expensive. Yeah, yeah they are more expensive. So your army's probably a little bit bigger than mine, but... Um, Hopefully. You know. I mean, that's the only thing I can comfort <laughs> myself in right now. But, you know, uh, my guys are bringing the King's banner, so... Yeah, that'll uh, back him up. Um, but, yeah, I'm I'm ready for this. Are you ready to do no, battle? Not yet. No? Not yet, not yet, not yet. I need to gather my senses first. I'm just giving the, the viewers here a good look at the units. I, I did bring in, okay, so, you know, to try and not stray away from the whole um, theme here, I, I accidentally brought in Hobbilars. I didn't know they would be so damn official, you know, kind of English-like, but uh, eh, we won't I, see that way down on the battlefield. <laughs> I was going to bring them too, but I, I, just, yeah. I decided not I actually, to. I just needed something to fill out my, fill out my stacks, and Lost I thought it. they would bring, I thought they'd wear like a very plain kind of uh, padded cloth, you know, like a beige gray or whatever brown but they were a little more red than i'd imagined but you, let's just pretend they're uh, from a house 
that had red as a sort of a you know a very present color there the um yeah there were plenty obviously i mean you couldn't just ask every single earl that support house of york to stop wearing red for yeah their... and i'm sure like back in war of roses there's like a lot of friendly fire because you know oh yeah of course everyone uh... looks so similar you know yeah, you got the little banners and all the knights. Sometimes, like a separate foot knight could have his own house's like banner and right. stuff on his shield, and it would be very similar to an enemy banner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Be very, yeah. very crazy. So, but I, I think I'm, I'm ready actually. All right, let's do this. I, I can't wait to see these enemy, the, the units collide. I can't wait to see the king's <laughs> army show up. The king's army, the great army marching. Not so great. No, I was expecting a little bigger. Mine looks bigger. <laughs> well, I'm I'm more tightly packed, so you know yeah. I th probably should spread out my forces here to face you. I see such under my oh. So I want to make this clear before. This is more of a showcase of the mod battle. Otherwise, we could have just played Attila, which is way more balanced for like online play than this mod. Yeah. Uh, this is just a awesome shed some blood with some cool freaking medieval units yeah it, like we said earlier it's a closed alpha so it's still a work in progress mm -hmm. look at your billmen or heavy billmen oh wow. yeah they're beautiful they are a beautiful unit yeah spear militia looks very good like the king would raise them you know like on a, on a foot or like just on a hip like come on join in you know quick training <laughs> yeah. yeah like laborers you know yeah, 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 yeah. Peasants and whatever. Oh man, your your army feels massive. It, I just think it it's more massive. spread out, though. Oh, you got some peasants in there, I see. Yeah, that's that's my surprise for you. Those, that's the that's the angry like rabble. They're like, yeah. damn king doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or they're just the ones that have been loitering around, not having anything better to do. We'll give them a few shillings, you <laughs> know. Yeah. Uh, you know, they're drunk from hanging out in the tavern too long. Most likely, truth be told. Yeah, I mean, uh, back in this time, like, if you said anything bad about the king, like, if you were on a drunken rant, you could be end yeah. up, you know, being hanged. Yeah, <laughs> that's a shameful way to end your... Okay, so I guess we're going to do some skirmishing at a start here, you know? Yeah, got your, got your, uh, you've got your, uh, you've got your, you got medium, you got longbow militia, I've got some, some of the archers. Oh, so you bring in the, uh, the better, oh, you're lighting the trees on fire. Oh, what the hell? They're firing? Okay, I didn't ask them to use fire. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. It looks pretty awesome. Grab that's funny, though, because they're, they're using standard shots, so I'll have to kind of talk to the guys and see what they... they uh, Are they really? <laughs> they dip their arrows in. <laughs> yeah, what's the deal with that? <laughs> I have actually got uh, arrow trails off, so um, it, to me it's very cinematic. Yeah, I did that too. Yeah, it's probably not good if you want to do like a competitive game and want to make sure your units aren't taking a lot of archery fire, but... It's cool for this uh, this this very home battle here. So yeah, I had to bring archer sergeants to kind of you know separate the the colors and all. Otherwise, they'd be very English like. Yeah, that might be my only unit advantage in this game. I'll tell you that much. That might be the only good better unit I have. And your your earl's uh, coat of arms is really cool looking. Yeah, I'm gonna Blue zoom back. Stripes. Very House of York. I mean, probably the most sort of House of York resembling. Uh, piece of piece of stuff or, or, or texture I could find really yeah because the, the white and blue flower or the I think it was like a white flower or blue flower and a blue or white background <laughs> one of the one of the alternatives one of those. To that. yeah one of, those, one, of those. <laughs> one of those colors yeah so I think uh, mm, okay this is interesting this could uh, I see I see a lot you got more count hmm. thinking out loud oh, oh, man. Sound like conf confusing Civil wars are always so interesting. Like the first battle of a civil war, it's like what could lead, you know, fellow countrymen to divide and just kill each other. Yeah, it's, it's a very Northern dark time. Yeah, and especially like take America, the American Civil War, that first battle for uh, uh, Antietam, or um, as many call it, the uh, First Manassas. Wait, yeah. was that, were those two different battles? Wait, I'm, I I need to. Well, the the first battle started with that bombardment. Yeah, 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 but that was like the the, the first uh, the bombardment of that uh, Union fort by right, Confederate yeah. Purpose. Yeah, nobody but died. I'm, no, I'm thinking about the first actual battle that the Union had planned on being like a great success, but it was actually uh, a, a, quite the opposite. And the the people who were from the sort of you know obviously from the nearby settlement uh, to spectate the battle, they were they were yeah, they had to flee from the oncoming. Yeah, area. because it was it was going bad. Yeah. 
Yeah, that was crazy. Like, hey, let's go watch a battle. Like, yeah, yeah, true. And sit and drink champagne or whatever. Yeah. On, like, the, the heights up here. Oh, man. You got that banner. <laughs> Rebel scum. How dare you yeah. turn on the king? Oh, they. Your king's a lunatic. <laughs> He's not our king anymore. <laughs> he has been chosen by God. Yeah. So I think I think actually the one who uh, were, were more um, who did more of the commanding and steering and all that was actually uh, Aunt Margaret or whatever her name was. Of Anu. Or, yeah, yeah. Or, or Aunt Marjorie or something like that. She, uh, yeah, she was married to King Henry, trying yeah. to uh, forge an alliance during the Hundred Years' War. Yo, I'm gonna refund my uh, archer sergeants. They are not performing much better than your longbow militia. Yeah, that's weird. Are, yeah, you so, might want to get them in loose formation. Are they, are they in loose formation? Oh my god, jeez. Come on, I haven't played Total War in so long. Oh. Uh, that's right. Well, that's why we're taking it slow. Well, then, then again, we're not trained by the king. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I can imagine someone in the comment section like, Get back! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah, so now we might see a change. I think they still did perform about as good as you did, though, when they were in... Uh, yeah, because they I are better. They fucking better be, I'm telling you. <laughs> you know what? I've had enough of this sissy skirmishing. Oh, you're gonna go on the attack? King Henry. He's He's gotta hurry up and attack before he loses his mind. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, that's rough though, because King Henry V, he was like amazing king, and usually like the son of an amazing king just isn't Bad. as good. Yeah. Because he's not he's not been raised to 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 handle it like like you know, the king has been doing it so good before, so he's like you know it's cool. I don't need to focus on my my king kingly duties of 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 achieving this and that. I'm not sure you know. I've... But yeah. Yeah. Because then they they usually turn to interested in like. Like arts and other things, and not actually yeah, giving the yeah. again, that be too much. Like, oh, uh, no. looks like we're about to stay here to join in battle. Yes, finally. Here we go for the king. Okay, I'm gonna have to panic a bit here. Uh oh. Oh, he's. Oh, look at that formation. Yeah, that might be the only thing that can. Scaring off my we'll see how long they can hold off, though. I'm, I'm not sure that'll be. Be super efficient. I don't really know how to approach that. So do I. I am actually... It feels like we, we, uh, we've we kind of gained the lead on one flank each, it feels like. like it, it, no. It's almost like they don't want to fight. Oh, there we it, go. It is a little weird, I will admit. Oh, jeez. I had to pull back, though, some of these guys. Which is very unfortunate. All right, here we go. Essence. What am I supposed to use them for? <laughs> Meat shields. Yeah. How is your attack by general? Am I? No, I just said that. I don't know what I mean. Oh, here we go. My infantry, my retinue, knightly foot. Oh, this is so bad because I'm supposed to do this so differently. Uh... See if I can save this. Oh man, my micro is out of shape. Oh jeez, what? Oh my god, what am I? Oh jeez, I don't remember telling my knights to get that close. Oh man. So I was like hoping this would be one of those battles where I could really show the really cool, um, you know, units and graphics and all that, but it's gonna end up being like full focus on the. <laughs> We can we can slow it down and show off. Yeah, I think we. Wait, no, I don't. Oh wow, your uh, bill sergeants completely destroyed my uh, my medium melee infantry there. 
I guess they, they were in sort of pike formations, and that was that was gritty, uh, gritty as could be. The enemy have rallied their units. Oh man, I don't know. There's something weird going on with the the pole arm, like heavy building. Yeah, they are extremely passive. I would say, like there they I'm, go. I've noticed this before. A thing they do is what they do is they um, they if they, if like one side is engaged on the flank, like they will they will they will Wait. stay a really tight formation and they won't they won't actually fight or anything. They'll just like just stand there and look at each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Uh oh. Jeez. My general is getting down gritty in this. I guess it'll be easier to focus on some cool uh, battle scenery once the. Uh... Yeah, so you did the mistake I did with your uh, foot lead knight. Right, and you they uh, they they'll get absolutely slaughtered in like um, if you send um... like like sword. Yeah, if you send sword yeah. into pikes, no matter how good they are, they'll get slaughtered. I had a couple get like absolutely slaughtered. Man, this is a really cool battle, though. Yeah, it's pretty intense. Oh, and yeah. your uh, Earl is into the fight. Maybe it's time for King Henry to uh, to join and he show some bravery. Yeah, you've got some insane cow, though. The men are running. Stand and fight, damn you. Here we go, King Henry charging in. Oh, that is going to be nasty. King Henry. Oh, you're, sh you're focusing your archers on him. Lance is down. Oh no, I can't brace for this. Oh, the Earl. Look, now is time for King Henry to seek revenge to, against his betraying Earls. Yeah. <laughs> this will be one of the funnier bits when 200 peasants charge into your mediums. <laughs> but, Come on, you bastards! Oh, you got me surrounded over here. Oh, this, I'm not entirely sure where this battle is going. I actually have no idea. I think you're breaking my formation back there. <laughs> Which is all an all The Bill good. sergeants are really Yeah, they're they're they know how to stand still. Yeah. <laughs> they look intimidating. Yeah, they look extremely intimidating. But not they're not exactly what? fighting intimidating. No, they are um, certainly not the the scariest bunch I've met. By the way, my uh, now is the time. Oh, I need to get my king out of there. It's a suicide mission. Yeah, you don't think he's going to be able to hold? No. And then I, I need to rally. Rally. Reform your position over there, yeah. Yeah. I think I need to kind of kind of reform myself too. I'm... But look who arrived from the forest. The loyalist traitors. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, geez. I actually, uh, I'll admit, I did forget I had them there. So. <laughs> that, it's not Don't a, say it's that. Not a, you, you knew, yeah, right? Yeah, the yeah, whole yeah, time. I knew, right? Oh, man. You must fight or die, King Henry the Sex. Oh, look, that's cool. You're going to redeploy your. Uh, that's nice. Oh, man. Yeah, you're going to absolutely slaughter my hobbelars. Oh. Well, I guess the king needs to sort out the people who betrayed him. Yeah. I was expecting a little more of a. Like punch of cavalry charge and shocks in this game, they seem to be a little lame. They they like they they go places I don't want them to go, and they date girls I don't want them to see, <laughs> and they hang out, you know, all that stuff. Okay, so I'm trying to just get my heavy bills in the fight. Back to the front lines. The men are running. Stand and fight, uh -oh. damn you. I see the Earl. Yeah, our hobbilars got messed badly. I mean they you wanna do a king v king there? <laughs> yeah, sure, we can do that. Okay, let's see where's the guy. I'm gonna charge my guy in. I'm sure. This might, in. might might end up as a catastrophe there, but <laughs> my militia's got some of your unit on the run there back there, that's funny. <laughs> 
Ooh, that's crazy. I, I'm, I'm actually sure I... My gut is turning slightly at that look, but... Oh no, they're running. Your, uh, your Bill Militia, though, is, seems to be doing better than my Bill Sergeants. It's like they're routing my guys. Wow. I don't know how. Man. This has been so bloody. I'm going to try and focus on some of the little squatter here. Yeah. yeah. This cat fight is pretty, pretty intense. Yeah, get some cool screenshots. Oh. oh. What? What happened? I don't know. It froze. Oh, I, I paused it. Oh, Fuck, wait. <laughs> my my screenshot key is P, so. Oh, I see. That explains. <laughs> I was like, what? I have to do that in the replay. A unit is running from yeah, the get enemy. Cool. Oh, you're running down my. Oh, you're sending in the infantry. Oh, oh, what? oh, oh my, my God! Yes. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh my God! Yes. <laughs> Oh, you're breaking my men. Is failing. Oh, man. My men are looking the wrong way. You know, I'm going to be honest. It feels lives. like the sort of the, your uh, kind of like, you know, really like the, the, the later Our King's Royal, the, the heavy billmen or whatever you had, didn't seem to be scaled properly to what they cost. Like, yeah, uh, I don't know. It's the militia, like your, you see your, your bill militia. My build, my build sergeants don't exactly do better than than your build militia back there. They've they actually made a, a unit of mine route before, and like they've been standing there forever killing people. So yeah, I don't I don't get it. I, I guess I don't know. I think he, they need to work a little bit on the the build militia type units. Yeah, and make sure like they they're a lot weaker than the the uh, the actual yeah. kings and so on kind of deal. Let's see if we can do this. So how's my king doing? A dark oh no, you. Our general has died at oh, you hands. killed King Henry the VI. Oh, did I? Oh, wow, that is. Extreme. Oh, a victory. And just oh, like history. True. The, I've, I, the, pretty much the majority of the battles that I saw were, were House of York. Even though they had like less men for some reason. Yeah. That That's is crazy. Wow. That was a really fighters. cool battle, nonetheless. Yeah, that was great. Uh, did we get some end results? Because I want to see yeah, if, just, I, if, if you just click end battle. Um, yeah. Let's see how everyone did. Yeah, wow, I deployed 400 more, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but your army was... Yeah, I don't know, like, if getting the king-type units is even worth it, because my units were around 100 more florins. Yeah, look years. at your... And look at your, like, the elite melee infantry that you have, like the billmen, heavy billmen, and those uh, foot oh, knights. Oh, yeah. They suck, dude. Yeah, compared to, dude, like, look, the bill militia. My, yeah, and, like, <laughs> what the... And look at my armed peasants. One of your spare militia got 26 <laughs> kill, and they got 23. You can get five armed peasants for the cost of one spare militia. Right. Unit. Okay. right. Well, look at my bill militia. One got 112 yeah. kills. It's 300 gold. But Where is the, it? Where is that? Yeah, yeah, the 112. Uh, yeah, yeah, I see but it. But the heavy billman, the late period one, it's <laughs> like 850. Lots. Yeah. Yeah, and look at my, my, my elite knights. Ni 89 and 108 kills, which is pretty good. But, like, Two of the, the, the almost half-priced, or at least less, uh, 260, 151, not to mention the regular Bill Sergeants, who got a lot of kills. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, they slaughtered. I honestly think that when you're, like, foot infantry, like the your, your knightly retinue, because you send in one of those units to fight my Bill Sergeants, they just got destroyed instantly. And it's the same. Do you see my units of Sergeants that have three kills and they're completely dead? Yeah, yeah. They were the ones who I sent in against either, like, Bill Militia or Bill Sergeants, and they died instantly. Yeah, so it's the like, same thing happened with my one that got 24 yeah. kills. But yeah, my army was still a lot bigger. It was like 20% yeah. almost. Uh, if you have 2,300, uh, I mean, 20% out of 200 would be would be uh, 400, right? So I brought in like, what, 15, 16% more, which is, yeah. 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 I amount, mean, so I, I think just shock. I think your army was just more cost effective. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it turns out, I mean, if we're doing this again, I guess getting like Bill Sergeant spam seems to be the, the best uh, <laughs> yeah. currently. And if you're going to bring swords, don't charge them into 
Billman. No, definitely not. <laughs> and that's I, I think you could do that before though. In like any other Total War game, if you had good swordsmen, they could still take on spare infantry. Uh, it wouldn't be a slaughter. Yeah. Uh, even if they, yeah. I mean, Billman weren't exactly phalanx. I mean, they have short, short, like short spears in a way. Right. Like, right. Like, yeah, but. Yeah, and, and like swordsmen aren't like completely stupid where they just charge in like maniacs yeah, and just and stuff. Yeah, so. yeah. But uh, I think it'd be really cool to do to try some other uh, of these uh, factions. We got so many. We got like the Teutonic Order, and okay, they're kind of they don't really have a lot of people. But we can do. I Maybe mean, I would France, really Hundred Years War. Yeah, dude, and I would do some, like to do some Arabic fights as well. Oh yeah. The, oh, there's some cool Eastern factions. Yes. Yeah. Kiev and Rus look amazing. Yeah. So, uh, well, I'm just gonna. Talk to my guys watching this or on my channel. Uh, don't forget to check out Pixelated Apollo for uh, a lot more content, especially Total War. Really good stuff. And if you guys want to see more of this on my channel, uh, then let me know, liking, supporting, and all that, and we'll we'll play some more cool cool mods, cool stuff. Thanks yeah. for thanks for watching and thanks for joining me. Yeah, it was a pleasure. All right, let's uh, let's do this again sometime, and uh, we'll see you guys soon again. Bye.